Hey guys, we're back, and I have another Trinitron I picked up over the week. This is a KV-20 FS120. It is a 20-inch screen Trinitron Vega. We'll see how it looks and if it's in okay condition, and I'll show you the inputs in the back in a complete overview, like usual. I guess is gonna be helping us today. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, it was a little beat up. The front plate thing is off, and the rubber parts for the buttons are gone, but the actual inner buttons are okay and fine. I've already tried using them. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. He also did not have the remote. I do have a remote for these, of course. We've been over that several times in previous videos. All right, so on the front we have the usual, the power button, the RF reader for the remote, standby light. We have composite input and RCA stereo audio input. We have the menu button, which works. We have menu access buttons, the select button, a headphone jack channel buttons, the volume button, and then the input button. The switch between RF and composite, and this one has component as well. Menu is standard for a Vega at this time. Excuse me. You got the video mode, vivid, pro, movie, standard. You have the audio effects. The RF setup for television, which isn't relevant anymore. Parental controls, a timer. And then advanced setups. Now this one does have 16 by 9 support for widescreen movies and games of the time. Oh, there's a tilt correction. Video label, you can label the different inputs. Such as video 1, Betamax, web, Laserdisc, game, direct TV maybe? 8mm, cable box, satellite, receiver, DVD, VHS. All right, it is kind of dusty. I didn't really clean it off. This is also kind of weird. The Sony sticker and this sticker overlap. I don't know if it came like that from the manufacturer. Looks like this one was made in November 2004. And here's something kind of interesting. I do have the KV-20 FS100, which has S-Video. You can actually see the indent. I don't know if they bumped it or what, or the S-Video would port would go on a compatible model. So we have RF, we have composite and RC audio, and then we have component. So I decided to go with the GameCube on this video because I have the component cable and the official composite cable. This has composite and component video only. I also feel like the GameCube is a well enough system that most people would have a good idea what it would look like. And using this as my reference point, I'll start with composite and then we'll go to component and I'll do a comparison side thing. Okay, so we should be mostly on center right now. I'm gonna turn the GameCube on. So I can already tell that this unit is not in the best condition. The color is off. I assume the owner before he gave it to me uh, had it tucked away somewhere in like poor conditions. Are we? Yes, we are. Level up. 
Again, this is the KV-20 FS120. It's a 20-inch Sony Trinitron Vega. It's rather similar in shape and size to the KV-20 FS100, but this one lacks S-Video. The particular one that I picked up seems to have some discoloration, and I'm unaware if that is due to the tube being worn or any other internal components starting to fail. I'm hoping everybody out there is doing okay, and I hope that everybody that's a Trinitron enthusiast is doing good, and hopefully you guys can find some good ones while everybody's spring cleaning during all this. And until next time, everybody stay safe and enjoy yourselves.